Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV with a college football preview for you for this Saturday afternoon, 3.30 Eastern on NBC National TV. Maryland travels to Michigan State. I'm going to tell you the best way to play this game and make some money on Saturday afternoon. Hey, if you're enjoying the content, give us a thumbs up, a like, and don't forget to leave me comments below. I read all the comments and I reply back. Let's win together here in week four of college football. Well, you got to wonder if NBC is happy about this nationally televised game at 3.30 Eastern. I bet they would like to flex out of this like they do with Sunday Night Football later in the season with the NFL. And that, of course, is because Michigan State, tons of controversy right now. Early this week, Mel Tucker was announced he's going to be fired after being suspended last week. And you got to be very careful with teams like this. Now, now, there's no question the line is inflated. Everybody is running away from Michigan State. In fact, last week, um, I thought the line was inflated. In fact, uh, my math model only made the line about 11 and a half, 12. The closing line was 15, was even higher at some points. But it didn't matter. Michigan State lost 41-7 as a two-touchdown home dog against Washington. And now they're a one-touchdown home dog against Maryland. And once again, the line is probably inflated based on recent results and all the turmoil. But the problem is, do you really trust Michigan State right now? I don't. And if you're going to play this game, the only way is to lay it with Maryland at minus seven or less. Now, as we look at the Wager Talk live odds screen Early in the week, there are mostly sevens out there. I have seen a couple seven and a half start to pop, so shop around. Uh, obviously, seven's a very key number. Wouldn't be surprised to see this line move higher. But I just don't know if Michigan State's defense can stop Maryland. You know, distracted teams, it often shows, the letdowns often show on the defensive side of the ball. And that was definitely the case last week in that 41-7 loss. Not only did they give up 41 points to Washington, they gave up over 530 passing yards. And here's what's worse news if you're a Spartans fan or backer. Michigan State had a plus two turnover edge. They only turned the ball over once, and they still lost 41-7 to despite creating three turnovers. You're not going to do much better than that, and you still get blown out. Really bad sign. Maryland's only turned the ball over twice all season. Uh, Talia Tungaviola, uh, Tua's younger brother here now in his fourth season in Miami, a great quarterback. So Maryland has a lot of the edges here. And let's not forget these teams met last year early in the season as well. It was uh, the fifth game of the year, I believe. Uh, Michigan State lost 27-13 as a touchdown road to dog. Now they're a touchdown home dog, and there was nothing misleading about that loss. Uh, Maryland had a 489-321 to edge, over 160-yard edge last year in that 14-point uh, home win. See no reason why the Terps can't get a double-digit win once again. And this is a very focused Maryland team playing with a mission this season, and they're off to a perfect 3-0 straight-up start. Only have Indiana on deck. Now it is the first true road game for Maryland. That's always a bit of a concern. Uh, they're coming off the Friday night national TV win against Virginia, so they do have an extra day to prepare and travel. Um, but once again, that could be the one roadblock here. But the fact that Michigan State's been at home now for four straight games, I think is actually a negative with all the turmoil and distraction. So once again, first road game for Maryland, but I think it's a bigger distraction for Michigan State. And if you're going to play it, you better lay it. That's the only way I would play this one at 3.30 Eastern on Saturday afternoon, NBC National TV, Maryland minus seven at Michigan State. If you found this information useful, give me a thumbs up, a like, and don't forget to comment below. I read all the comments. I reply back. Hit subscribe and hit the bell for instant alerts when my college football top 25 video and my NFL fade the public videos both go live this weekend here on Wager Talk TV. And by the way, off to a fantastic start with my best bets at wagertalk.com this season. Last two Saturdays and Sundays combined, 14 and 7, 67% in college and pro football, including an incredible 7 and 1 on NFL Sunday in weeks one and two so far. Just a great start. Hey, I know you've missed it. It's not too late to get on board, though, if you have missed it. Get a full year, the next 365 days of all sports, for just over $3 a day with promo code SM365. That's every college and pro football, basketball, and baseball player for the next year for just over $3 a day. Or if you're a new first-time customer, you can try a three-day sampler for just $55 with promo code Steve3. Once again, all the details, all the information, those promo codes, again, can be found on my page right now, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And stay right here on Wager Talk TV for more great college and pro football video previews coming up next.